Herman! Get in position. Get it. Ah, 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 there it goes. Ah. Hello, daddy babies. Hello, little daddy babies. Hello, dingy. People are always like, what keeps you humble? I'm like, I pick up more dog shit every day than anyone who's attempting to be an asshole has a right to account for. When you are a weirdo in the suburbs, like, it, it does nothing for your development. A gay black weirdo living in Bravo, Illinois, what the f am I doing? So, I uh, went to Chicago and decided that it was going to be for me. This red building was where I got my start, my big start. We used to have our loft parties here. There was nothing in there but a strobe light and just people dancing. I'm talking about ecstasy. I'm talking about trying to reach the ceiling. I'm talking about go higher, feel something, like be magical. People would come up to you while you were playing and just do this. And you have to make them dance. They're like challenging you to make them dance. This is a, a great training ground for me. And right here is the old, uh, this is the old warehouse space, the original warehouse space at 206 South Jefferson. This is where uh, House Music got its name from. This building right here. Now it's whatever, it's a law office and probably something dope hiding in the back. You heard me. To me, Chicago is not just a city, it's a people. I could find other freaks, other weirdos like me. And at that time, there felt like there was a lot of them. Like a lot of weirdos. It was probably one of the best times of my life. At that time, I was working at this record store called Imports, etc. I was going to school, then I got kicked out of school, then I got fired from Imports, and I went and found a payphone and called Gramophone. <laughs> Excellent. That was the period that turned Gramophone from the Clark Street record store run by a couple of old hippies. Turned that into a thing and it's still a thing. Gramophone is still one of the greatest record stores in the history of dance music ever. I think this would be, yeah, this would be is mine too. Is this actually from your collection? Yeah, that's my writing. Are you gonna play that tomorrow? No. What's tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know, this uh, party called Queen. What's tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow's not real. So it's, it is not, not until you're there. All up and down Broadway, there was like loads of little funny places, little alcoves or like bars, interesting spots to duck into and get troubled. 1989 is still living in this alley. We used to go to and run, it's called Alcazar, was over here. We would let people in through the alley with the walkie talkies, like we got two coming in. Back then the police didn't come here, like no one came here. It was, uh, it was fun. And birds, and birds, and birds, and birds. Do it. Yeah, I got you. All See right. you tonight. All right. Queen regulars, they're here, they're everywhere. We're infiltrating. <laughs> you wanna go through here? All right. Shh, the back way. No, 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 you're fine. We won't bite, or we won't stab. Smart Bar is the vanguard. It's a place for you to come and have a good time. You can like come here and be like the odd creature that you've always wanted to be. The thing that's kept me in Chicago more so than anything else is I feel like the best version of me that exists, exists here. England is kind of known for their eccentrics. Chicago should be. Actually, part of my brief is to be the funniest weirdo you'll know. Music's moving me, baby. Now I can feel it Hi, my name is Derek Carter. I enjoy the color blue, the color teal, periwinkle, and sometimes if I'm feeling really randy, navy. Get up. Dance it, make it rock, drop it, touch it back and bring it.